Okay, now we're going to show you how to use the auto rig feature. So to do that, um, let's take a character which hasn't got a rig on it. So you can see it's just got a mesh. So in the demo folder, you've got this guy. So that we just create a light, make it look better. Um, so the um, so what we do is just click on it and go to the auto rig uh, panel and click make guides. And these creates these little pink guides. So what you can do is just do, um, in wireframe, you can just take them and move them and they snap to the uh, center of the mesh. That's um, it's because it's created a mesh collider and it uses that to um, to work out where the center of the mesh is. Makes it much quicker to sort of set up. So we just put these guys just into into the right positions. You see the um, left and right get mirrored. Let's just put that's the upper body. Um, this is for the neck and head. Um, if in, in in this case, the projected centering isn't good for us because um, it's going between the uh, whole, whole body. So we can just t t take off the snap to center and just put it in ourselves. Um, then we can take the, uh, this is the uh, lower spine. This one here is the um, thigh bones. And these are the knees. And um, then we're gonna just uh, put these guys as well. Maybe we can, maybe we can take off snap to center for them. And yeah, and then basically, once you've set that all up, um, you can just click the simple button, which is auto rig. And you see it's uh, set to voxel skinning, so it's creating a kind of voxelized skin um, algorithm. And there you go, it's a skinned character. So you should see that um, the, char the character has like um, IK controls for the legs and, um, and the arms. So you can have got like IK FK for the arms. So let's show you show you how that works it's just like it's got IK uh, also the legs have IKFK so here you've got an IKFK control so you could just blend that and then you can sort of start using the um, FK controls um, you see the actual bones are showing but on the global control we can turn off those bones by just toggling, toggling the visibility there's no, there's no need to see the bones whilst you're animating they're just going to get in the way because you know the controls are the main thing you see how the um, spine um, the uh, spine works with the spline controls they're just like you've got like a hip control but you can kind of rotate and move it just feels quite like easy and natural to sort of animate with um, so it's it's very nice kind of useful useful rig it's not just like animating bones directly which just doesn't feel right so um, yeah and you can actually see the uh, character already has um, the walk and the idle already um, already on it um, you, you might want to sort of uh, tweak where these where these knee and um, pole joints are just so so it just looks more natural you've got a um, an idle as well so these these animations will work across any different proportion character but you might want to do a little play around with um, the set, uh, some of the, the keyframes just so it makes it just tweaks it just right for your character but it's a very quick way to sort of get have your character ready moving and um, and ready to animate so that's basically the auto rig um, the next stage we'll be teaching you the um, how to rig manually which is um, a little bit more involved